Hey, this is Mark with Magnolia Oaks Woodshop, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how or how not to run multiple instances of the Xtool Creative Space. So, um, if you've recently gotten a new Xtool unit like the P2 or maybe a D1 Pro or uh, one of the other uh, lasers that they make, you know that uh, they are promoting the use of their uh, Creative Space software, and it's really, really improved a lot over the last year, especially. Um, I've always used Lightburn uh, primarily, but for the P2, really the only option to do some of the advanced things that you can do with P2 is to use a Creative Space software. However, uh, the problem that I've come into is how to run multiple machines off the same XTool Creative, soft, X -Tool Creative Space software, uh, one computer, two, two lasers. And I want to show you why I found, so hopefully it saves you some time. Uh, an effort when you're looking. Uh, so this is uh, my Windows computer, it's my desktop. And if you go here and just click on the button like normal, uh, you know, it opens fine. And I had this connected um, via Wi-Fi to my P2 in the other room. Okay, so uh, I have a P2 and I have a D1 as well. And so if I want to start something on my P2 and then uh, also open another project on my D1 uh, using the same computer. Uh, currently, this is what the problem is. Uh, some developers allow you to create multiple instances of an application, um, and so they're, they're treated independently. So for example, if I go down here and I click on Word, and then I go down here and I hit the Shift button and click on Word again, that is a separate instance. So these are completely independent of one another. They're the same software program. It's not installed twice, um, but there are different instances. So that gives you a lot of flexibility in that you can have multiple documents open at once. Uh, you know, for other applications, it's very helpful to be doing multiple things at once. So that's a, a huge benefit. Now, um, certain developers don't allow you to do that. And there are many reasons why that happens. Um, uh, primarily, if you know, it, it increases the risk of the software crashing because it's using the same resources on multiple windows um, and so uh, that's primarily why they do that to prevent crashes and so as the software becomes more and more developed and stable uh, then typically they'll add that back because they see the benefits of uh, how people are actually using the software so in my case uh, it would really really be nice to be able to run multiple instances of creative space uh, so I can, you know, multitask and save time. However, uh, as of this particular day, uh, it doesn't appear as though um, multiple instances are allowed uh, within the software. So, for example, uh, we have one instance open, you can see right here. If I go down and I do the same thing that I just did in Word, right here, you can see it looks like it opened something, but if you look again, there are no other windows, so it did not create the separate instance. Um, so uh, there, there's also certain workarounds uh, that people have promoted, whereas you can um, create another user on your machine and then run as that user, and so it tricks the computer basically into seeing, uh, seeing the software as being run by two different people. However, in this case, it doesn't seem to work, so uh, I created a new user and these are the options you get. So if I do open, it's the same thing as pressing down the shift key uh, and clicking on it. So that doesn't work. Also, if I right click and even say run as administrator, um, it still does, it does this and then nothing else happens. You can see there are no other windows. So uh, with that being said, um, it doesn't appear to be able to create multiple instances and I have tested this on both PC and Mac. I have a Mac laptop that I use and it seems to be the same issue. There was a workaround on Macs where you could basically go into terminal window which is like the MS-DOS prompt in Windows and uh, you have a little snippet of code that you add there and it would work for other applications like Lightburn for example. Um, however, it doesn't appear to work with Xtool Creative Space either. So, what can you do? So, there are a few different options that you have. Number one, you can uh, open up a file just normal um, and process that. So go through the entire steps 
and as it's actually uh, doing its job you can hold uh, click the minimize button and that will bring you back to the main window and it will continue to burn while um, you know you're you're over here on this page also you can go here uh, if you can see this it says canvas one there's multiple canvases now this is not to be confused with a new file so when you save this file it's going to save one file with two canvases so it's just basically like tabs in a spreadsheet um, you're not able to save you know open up a new project here now you can import an image here and work on it but this is basically just a way to allow you to preload jobs um, that will come after this current job runs. What we would like to be able to do is to be able to uh, tee up job one here, let it run, and then tee up job two here to a different machine and let it run also. So currently it doesn't appear to allow that, but um, I just want to save you some time before you go down that rabbit hole because I've been far down the rabbit hole. and. Um, Hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, I love my, my X-Tool lasers and uh, Creative Space has really come a long way. Um, just want to contribute back to the community and uh, let me know your thoughts or comments. I'd love to learn from you. So uh, if this is helpful, I'd love it if you'd subscribe or leave a comment and I'll see you on the next one.